What is Grape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And this one I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and what you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to break down a very big opportunity that's coming out involving AMC for all investors like you and me and why this is going to be very big for AMC and why on earth we're still seeing lots of shorts continuing to short it. But despite that, I'm still very bullish. Now, before I break anything down, before I get into any more details, I got to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo, the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And the best part is, any of these 15 free stocks can be a free Tesla share, a free AMC share, or a mix of all of them. It's a limited time offer. The offer ends in just four days. Check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So AMC is up 1.78% for the day. We actually closed just below $8, and we're holding a pretty well relative to SPY. Because you have to remember, the SPY came very close to its lows. The SPY was very close to hitting its low for the year. The SPY is crashing. We understand that. However, AMC is actually holding up pretty well. If you actually combine AMC plus APE, we'd still be at $11, still be actually above $11, so a pretty decent sign. But AMC does have a little bit more potential downside. Let's actually talk about something very interesting in the opportunity I was talking about. So AMC has a tendency of following SPY. If you guys look at the data, right here you will notice right here amc started dumping with many of the mid caps very early compared to spy spy started to follow later but as the year approached as 2022 came as we entered like the month of march all of a sudden there was a shift in the markets now companies are running together the whole market is kind of like running in unison in a way based off what the fed is doing pretty funny and that's what happens during recessions during big fed events and notice this when SPY spiked, AMC exploded. When SPY came crashing down, AMC dropped with SPY. SPY did push up a bit. AMC pushed up just a little bit. But after that, SPY came dumping down. AMC came down too. And after that, AMC started to rally. Notice how after the SPY dropped to its low, SPY started to rally. SPY started to push up like this. AMC started to push up with it too. Now, both of them came tumbling down, but this SPY is near its low, very close to it, almost exactly there. AMC, pretty low, but it's not at its low to the same degree because AMC's low for the year, if you adjust for APE, it would be at like the $5 range, $5.90. AMC's currently at $7. It's over $7, almost 8 bucks. So overall, we're holding up a lot better than before. And this thing is going to run when the time is right. We're showing more strength than SPY. If you look at this right here, the price pairs ratio is still relatively low because SPY is dropping more than AMC, right? That's the reason why, at least for now, we're starting to see that, a big decrease in the price pairs ratio. But once this starts to go up, it would mean AMC is running more than SPY. And that's where the opportunity comes. So let me show you guys something. Notice when AMC comes tumbling down to these bottoms, whether it's like under $7, $6.50 a share at the bottom, we tend to get a big reversal after those crashes. And I think this time it's going to be a lot faster within a month or two. That's a good buying opportunity. This is also an opportunity to load up on calls if you want, not financial advice, by the way, despite everything going on. Because remember, in the markets, we tend to drop down in September, but get a big shift, a big rally as we approach the midterms. I'm still very confident we're very likely to see something like that. AMC is dropping on low volume. Once again, pretty decent sign because right now, when the volume comes back, this thing is going to rocket, in my opinion. Cost of borrow is still relatively high, but the shorts are borrowing a crazy amount of shares to short AMC down 1.5 million. And despite that, AMC is holding up okay. I mean, it is still pretty down compared to before, but it's holding up all right. And I want to talk about one other thing. That is, when you look at the options chain, we're not seeing signs of gamma just yet. 
but we could get there when the time is right. If AMC gets a big rally during a time frame like here as we approach those midterms, man, we may get a lot of those calls in the money, and there is potential for a gamma squeeze. If the share price soars, and I really believe it's very likely it does, and I'm still pretty bullish from that sense, for the short term, for the next few trading days, notice how SPY came tumbling down, but if you look closely, we did get a bit of a bounce off that 363. So maybe the SPY comes down because the next key zone, let me actually adjust this for you guys. The 362.6, I would calculate that as being like one of the most common or the most pivotal zone for SPY. This 362.5 to 362.6 uh, range, SPY could come down and then get a big bounce off that. Unless we already got the bounce, if SPY breaks above 370, we could actually fill the gap here. If that's the case, AMC has potential for a small bounce, but I do think some more downside is very possible. And AMC could come down to 7.5 a little bit later, maybe going into like the middle of next week, end of next week, and it could come down into the sixes. Now, I'm not going to panic during that time. I'm not scared whatsoever because AMC plus APE is what you have to remember. And also know what happened the last time AMC touched these levels. It doesn't just drop forever. There are a lot of instances where this thing will start to rally, respect an uptrend, make big moves to the upside. And I believe eventually the time will come again. So I'm still bullish on AMC because when midterms come, the market's going to rally, most likely. AMC might see a big move to the upside. If we get gamma, it could lead to a squeeze-like move. Now, Adam Aaron could end up diluting Ape. Personally, guys, I wouldn't really mind that. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody should because they're raising money to pay off their debt. Once they pay off their debt and raise more cash, this cash could be used for them to improve the fundamentals of AMC. And that later on will increase the odds of a short squeeze again. So we'll do whatever we can to help AMC to make it happen in a way. Anything good for AMC will be good for us because it increases the odds of a short squeeze. This short squeeze is still on the table. Nothing has changed in the play. I'm anticipating some upside, at least later on over the next few weeks. So I'm still bullish. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed, excuse me. And thank you all so much for listening. So please enjoy your weekend, guys. Don't worry too much about AMC over the weekend. Note that for the short term, I am still more bearish than bullish. We could bounce maybe like on Monday, maybe on Tuesday, but we could still see AMC come down like I mentioned. But later on, when the time is right, the squeeze potential is there. Thank you all for listening. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is bright, and peace out.